Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. And we have some great news, yo. We have some really, really great news. The price is dropping. We're about to go down, baby. And listen, I'm sorry. I know everybody was happy. Everybody been excited. And listen, I, I, I hate to be the bearer of bad, bad news for a lot of you all. I don't want you to get discouraged or anything, but I'm excited, and we're going to jump into it. So, um, And we also have hit a record for Ikomi. Komi has hit a record for the highest total um, amount of Omi burned in a day, it looks like. So we're going to be going over that as well. Before we jump into it, as always, be sure to drop that thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss anything that's going on. And yeah, also feel free to check the links down below in the description. You can follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and yeah, all that other stuff. There's some other links down there. But uh, listen, we have some big, big news. So as you can see, it's going down. The price is going down. This is at the 30-minute chart right now. It's been going down. And I'm assuming that this started taking place once they announced the drop wasn't coming. Look at this. Look at this anticlimactic buildup. Like, it, I, I feel bad for everybody who was super, super excited for this drop, man. You can see it just go up. It's go up. People smiling, getting happier, happier. Then it's just, oh, then, <laughs> like, that, that's what I'm picturing when I see this chart like this. But, yeah, it built up to be let down. But I am happy, and I'll tell you why. Um, I didn't get to invest what I wanted to invest. I didn't get to secure my position how I wanted to, and now I have the opportunity to. So as this continues to fall, I'm going to try to wait for it to get to the bottom. Probably like, it probably like, I'd say by the end of the weekend, it should probably bottom out or something. Toward maybe Monday. I feel like by Tuesday, Wednesday, it'll probably start heading back up into the excitement mode. So I feel like through this weekend, it'll go down a little bit, and we'll have a position, a, a time, some time to buy in some more and get some positions figured out but yeah man i'm super excited about this drop uh i definitely wanted to get uh get more i wanted to buy more while it's low because honestly with the stuff that's going on in this community with the stuff they've been teasing all the hints that we've been seeing i feel like once it goes up once it goes up it's, we're never going to see it down here again i feel like we're moving past that point because this isn't one thing that I feel like I've noticed when it comes to Ecobi is that it's not like other cryptos in a sense where it's like a huge amount of pump and dumps and stuff like that. Now, mainly because it's not on a lot of big exchanges. Obviously, if it's not an easily accessible coin, it's not going to be a bunch of pump and dumps. You can't a lot like anybody can't just grab this, buy into it, overhype and then sell it because they get disappointed. Like that's what happens with pump and dumps. Um, something gets people excited, everybody tries to jump in, then people start selling off, and then everyone else follows. Um, you can't really do that because it's so hard to get this coin. You have to really be invested to even get it. So, yeah, I feel like once it, once it, um, we, I don't feel like we're going to be seeing these type of prices for long, and I want to capitalize while it's low. So, yeah, as you can see, let's take a look at some more of the charts, though. Let's look at the hour chart, see what's happening. Yep, going downhill on the hour chart as well. Um, Last four hours, four hours. As you can see, it was heading on a downward trend. The news of the drop, everybody was getting excited for the drop, and then it drops again. Now, one thing, I want you to notice the trend of this, this kind of going down. The price has been falling, the price has been falling, and even with the price falling, check this out. So the, we, we've been on a downward trend for a while now. We've been on a downward trend for a while. But they haven't really released any huge, huge, massive news, man. They haven't released any. But still, even without releasing massive news, check this out. Total Omi burned. This is, this is how much was burned. 500 million. 500 million Omi has been burned here. And look at that that's a that's the equivalent to 3.4 million dollars 3.4 million dollars was um put in like people were really getting ready for this drop man people were really getting ready for it and this is how many was burned and yeah check that out that is the biggest that's literally the biggest in vv's history well at least in since this started being tracked since, since it started being tracked that's the biggest so yeah since they started tracking this that is the biggest and I think it's only going to go up from here. So as you can see, overall, we have been on a downward trend. But even on a downward trend, we're breaking records in turn when, when it comes to down to the burn. So basically, 
once they actually release these features that's going to be burning this like crazy we're, we're going to see like a, a i think we're going to see a quick sh um shift in the direction and we're going to start seeing we can see like a big upward trend i'm thinking when they release all these features well it depends like it depends like if they were just to one day release everything then then we would see an upward trend but the way that they seem to be releasing stuff where it's like okay we'll put you in gradually we'll release this here we're released it's kind of like they're slowly building us up they're going to build us upward i think we're going to have some steady growth upward more so than some like explosive growth except for when they announce certain licenses when they when they announce certain things it's definitely going to shoot right up it's definitely going to change everything like because there's game changing announcements like when they when they 100 confirm disney and marvel and things like that straight to the moon straight up and we're going straight up but until they do that, you're going to have the skeptical side. You're going to have people who don't want to get too excited, who want to stay realistic and things like that. And I definitely understand that. I definitely get it. Um, let's see. Collectibles purchased. You had 92,000 collectibles purchased. Dang. So they, they use the marketplace, huh? People really been using the marketplace like crazy. And actually, let me check over here. Let me see if they've been updating the accounts. Total purchases. This is how many accounts that have purchased gems. Um, I'm gonna have to look at my last video. Actually, somebody, somebody, look at my last video that I made where we went over this, and I wonder if this is going up. They, I don't think they're keeping track of this because this probably is a wrong number. I'm gonna have to check and see if this is going up, or if 24,000 people is responsible for 3.4 million in um, U.S. dollars being put into this. So, yeah, man. Like I was saying, I'm super excited. The price is dropping. It gives me another opportunity to buy in. Don't look at this as a bad thing. If you're new to the community, if you're new to crypto, when you see the price go down, that's when you buy. This is the time where your favorite thing is on sale. Your favorite investment is on sale. It's like it's like your shoes. If it's like you want to buy some shoes from the store, right? If you see a red tag on it that say these are on sale, you get excited about that because you wanted those shoes and now you get to spend less money on it. That's how you're supposed to look at it. When you see something going up on the, in the green, that is not when you want to get in it because you don't know how long it's going to be going up or it could like you could literally see something going up in the green. You're like, oh, let me get in there. Let me try to get in because I know it's time. Like when something is severely in the red, if it's not going to crash and completely die and burn, like then it, the only if it's all the way in the red, the only place that it can go is up. So. Like as you can see, look at this. Look at the last time we saw all this red leading down. Look at look at when we were seeing this red lead down. It goes up into some green. Little bit of red, up green, up green. And look at this. It's it's kind of consolidated. Then it goes up into green. And now it's slowly finna start going back down. We're finna see it slowly going down again. So yeah, let's look at the uh So let's look at it. So as you can see, you see this? It goes up. This actually was a, a big run. It went on a pretty good run here. And yeah, it is kind of slowly. It's been slowly going down. So, yeah. We went on a little run. I think that we have some good support. We, we seem to have some some good support here at in the 6 range here. So, in the 67 range here. So, yeah. Let, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section down below. Like I said, I'm super excited. I'm super excited for another chance to buy in even more and secure some stronger uh, positions so we can secure some stronger gains in the future. Um, also, we, we hit um, a history high of burned, burned Omi in a single day. So, yeah. That's very, very good, too. That was pretty much it. That's what I wanted to share with you all. Talk to you all a little bit about what's going on. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed in this, but... Um, think of it as another buying opportunity definitely another buying opportunity so yeah let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below be sure to drop that thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you're new and I will catch you all on the next video peace out Joe